Yasmin Baramawi attended a Friday protest last November in Cairo's Tahrir Square against Egyptian President Mohamed Morsi. Clashes broke out and amid the chaos, a mob violently attacked her. They came towards me and started to strip me down. Then some tear gas landed nearby, so they ran away. I tried to gather my clothes and get back up, but after the tear gas cleared, they attacked me again. My friend came back with another friend to try to save me, but they failed and she then also became a victim. Yasmin and others have been back on the streets since the beginning of the year, but this time to demand an end to repeated sexual violence attacks in central Cairo. A woman's voice is a revolution, reads this poster. Sexual harassment has long been a problem in Egypt, but recently the violent nature and frequency of the attacks have raised alarm. Egyptian feminist and head of Nazra for Feminist Studies, Mohsen Hassan, says everyone is to blame. The Islamist political parties are responsible because of their actions against women. The secular political parties are responsible because they didn't secure their protests and they dealt with this issue as a normal matter or just ignored it altogether. In February, Tahrir Bodyguard launched an initiative to teach women how to protect themselves. In these free training courses, women learn self-defense techniques such as windpipe grabbing, finger twisting and arm snapping. Sexual harassment has become widespread since the revolution, and because there's a lack of security, it's important that people learn how to defend themselves. There is currently no severe punishment in Egypt for sexual harassment or sexual assault. We must toughen up the punishment so they'll think 1,000 times before they do such a thing. The National Women's Council has announced it's preparing a global bill against all forms of violence against women. But defenders of human rights themselves are skeptical about the scope of such a law in the absence of political will to implement it.